All right, so I just wanted to bring you an update on the trailer since the beginning of the season. We have worked with this trailer for almost an entire season. I'm almost done uh, washing houses for the year, mostly gutters for the rest of the season. Um, did some a few upgrades all in all. I didn't change a whole lot about the trailer. I just added some things. So I'm gonna go through that real quick, the additions first, uh, for those of you who already seen the other video, and then I'll just go over all the other stuff that I have in my trailer again for those of you who are looking for ideas on a pressure washing trailer build. So what I'm going to start with is the surface cleaner. This year I upgraded my surface cleaner to a 24 inch um, whisper wash. I was running the 16 inch before which I still have on the trailer um, but I uh, wanted to upgrade to a bigger, bigger unit and this is how I have this. This is how I'm transporting it. I put these two hooks up here and then I just have this bungee corded down there. So I also added a blend manifold and a five and a half gallon a minute Everfold pump and a 12 volt battery with the NoCo Genius Gen Pro. I bought all that. Well, I bought the charger from Southeast Softwash and I also added a I believe this is a 16 gallon surfactant tank for my soap um, which I hook into this soap valve and my SH valve, my water valve. The way I have this set up is this comes off here. I can fill buckets with this. I can fill up my downstream bucket with it if I wanted to or I can just rinse my trailer out with fresh water if I have you know, spilled something or you know, whatever um, and then I take this and I hook it into this which runs into this reel that I added with 150 feet of soft wash hose I have another 150 feet there and there for backup I added this hook where I hang my gun my bypass which is another addition and then I have a spare gun here and go around to the front of the trailer This is also something that I added, a uh, 55 gallon SH tank for the blend manifold. I didn't plumb the SH line permanently into the tank um, for, for this reason, I'll explain it. So how I have it set up is I have this drop stick that I can just drop down into the tank when I am um, soft washing a roof. What I did that for is so that if I have like a job with a with a gas station or somewhere where I have to use a different chemical in bulk and I don't want to pop up spray like let's say I need to use a ton of degreaser on a gas station concrete pad I have this 25 gallon tank that I was using for my roof washing but now that I have my soft wash system set up I don't need that anymore but this is good for I can fill this with whatever chemical mixture I want that isn't SH and use this in here. Now I can soft wash, I can meter that down to whatever I want with the blend manifold. Um, those are really the only additions that I've um, made to the trailer this year, other than the, uh, the lettering that I put on the side. I don't believe the trailer was lettered when I made the first video. So um, if you've already seen the first video, you don't really need to watch the rest of this video if you haven't seen the first video I'll go through the rest of this trailer um, so that you can see how I built it out um, I'll say this I think I built it pretty much perfect for what I've been doing I haven't had any complaints I haven't had any things that I wish I did differently um, for the most part everything's been great um, and it's worked very smooth for me um, on all the jobs that I've been doing this this season so um, I'll go through all that um, right now so I have the 275 gallon IBC tote that is plumbed into this GX 690 8 gallon a minute pressure washer show you how it's plumbed comes down here into the pressure washer I have these elbows on here just to keep everything from kinking and then bypass line goes all the way up 
over there to the tank. I have a dump line set up here. Down this way, I have this thing that I add to here. I can fill buckets with that. I have my downstream bucket. I have my freshwater bucket. I have three Titan reels. Supply line, which is plumbed directly into the IBC tote and pressure wash line and obviously the soft wash line. My pressure washer is built on this custom stand that I made out of wood and I have the gas tank and the battery is in the back behind that. Go back to the front. I built these shelves that I could put things on. I keep my SH up here. I have my ladder rack there. I have a bunch of chemicals in there, bark, groundskeeper, all my degreasers, um, some Cleansol BC. That's where I keep all that stuff. Agent Halt, my leaf blower, gas can. I have my water fed pole system. I have a smaller uh, surface cleaner that I mounted under these hooks you gotta have a rain jacket um, I just hang you know spray bottles of um, bark degreaser gutter butter for small things small little rust spots on on um, hot houses stuff like that um, I have my toolbox set up here a bunch of fittings all kinds of stuff in there window washing bucket and a nice little lantern in case I'm working in the dark out here that extra nozzles and odds and ends some ox bright different things i keep these three totes towels uh window washing accessories miscellaneous hardware all kinds of different goof off there's car wash stuff in there degreaser um trash bags and all kinds of other stuff um same thing just odds and ends i keep up here extra hose for when i'm doing gutters um another another uh, backup uh 50 foot section of uh pressure hose because you will have pressure hose blow while you are working and you don't want that to happen. I keep my water fed pole up here on this PVC system that I built. No big deal. And we'll show you the front. I also have this ladder rack on the side because I'm a short guy and I don't like having to get things off the top of trailers or off the top of my truck. So that is it for the trailer. Like I said, I pretty much have not had any issues with this trailer. There's nothing that I would really change. Um, I think the way I built it is pretty much perfect for how I work and how I operate. I, everything goes smooth in fact um, another buddy of mine who has a company in this area plans on building out his trailer for next season almost identical to mine so so yeah if you have any questions drop them in the comments if you like the video give it a like subscribe to the channel and uh, help us grow it thanks all right I lied one thing that I do plan on changing that I didn't do yet is I want to add an external plug somewhere down here because currently I am plugging that charger in through this area and I have to open the door and then close the door on the cord to, in order to do that so that will be the upgrade the next upgrade